Dean Edwards. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Edwards. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And a barehanded pickup. It's late. He's safe. Great effort out there. And if that's any other runner, he's going to get him. That's one of those do or die plays right there, D Road. Good job there by the third baseman to get it. Has to do that bare hand. That was a strong throw to the first base, but just not in time for an infield single. Yeah, Dan, you practiced this one in spring training, the bare hand from the third baseman. It's not easy. Again, all your momentum's going towards home plate, and you try and find a way to redirect that ball to first base. One of the best in the business, but even he couldn't stop it from being an infield single. And he'll dive back in. The 1-1 home. Runner goes for second. Hit in the air to right field. Tejada ranges back, and he has it for route number two. On to first, and they get the double play. Leading off the inning, Miguel Tejada, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Out towards second. Edwards scoops it up. And there's one away. Ready once again, Eugene Edwards, runner in scoring position with two gone. Edwards. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Hey, get your pick. Grab it right here. And he misses there. One and two. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one, two. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Baker stands at second with two gone. Lifted into center field. Gomez moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, one error. Hey, let's go. Now one time. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eugene Edwards. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Side, but well foul. One out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there, out in front on that off-speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time, work on his craft under the tunnel. It's not easy to put the time in, but bottom line is, one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. The batter, number 10, designated hitter. Runners off for second. That's a strike to throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Now a pickoff play at second. He's Runner safe. back safely. Edwards leads off second with one gun in the inning. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Striding in once. Now battle. Right fielder. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Rockhounds jumped out to an early lead in the first the and never looked back. Brian Cortez the takes the win on the mound, his Six second runs. of the year. Nine Junior hits. Reyes Nowhere. worked only three yeah, innings in the losing down. effort. Ray Zeminski records the save, the his hook. tenth. Three runs.
welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Midland Rockhounds. Ready now, Eugene Edwards. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Second baseman, Eugene Edwards. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing, not who was going to be the hero. Striding forward now is the Maddie D.H., Vaughn Sherman, as he'll get his first Vaughn opportunity in this Sherman. one. Bouncer up the middle, fielded cleanly. The sec Back to first, but he wasn't able to set his feet that time as he gets knocked down and they only get one. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be... So digging in now, Jeff Big A, a couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Nothing in one count. Here it sends on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. We've played an inning. Still standing in, Michael Montag. Right fielder, Michael Montag. The 2 2. Hard hit ball to second. Played on the back. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And that's what speed does for you. He made the play, but in the back of his mind, he knew he was dealing with the speedster, so he rushed the throw, and he had more time than he thought, too. Digging in now, Harvey Queen. Batting eight, left fielder, Harvey Queen. Ground to the right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And some trouble now in right field. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. Digging in to try it again, Eugene Edwards. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. Down the first baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Baker on third with two out. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One hit, one left. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Vaughn Sherman. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later inning. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So striding in, Eugene Edwards. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far on this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Hit on the ground is short. Pro comes up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that. Digging in once again, okay. Thomas Irving. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Put in play to the right side of the infield. Edwards. Throw on to first, two gone.
Ready for another chance. Todd Crow. He'll swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Edward. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Nothing across here this half. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Digging in, Eugene Edwards. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, on the ground to first, can this be two? One there on the first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. So coming to the plate, Jeff Begay. He flew out in his last at-bat. Down the line. And this will get by him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the... It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 4-2 to the final score tonight. The Corpus Christi hook. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double-A Texas League. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Midland Rockhounds and the Corpus Christi Hooks. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Chris Pacheco will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitch. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in counts. Batting seven, second base. Coming to the plate now, Eugene Edwards. Edwards. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch coming, here it is. Slap hard the opposite way. In there, a base hit. All right, hang on, hang on. Right here, right here. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Into the box, Eugene Edwards. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it to second for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Stepping up now, Bradford McGraw comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. McGraw. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing. He and both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. Come on, let it fly. The one-two. It's taken on the inside corner. Strike three. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up... Get your pitch. So stepping in, Eugene Edwards. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First offering on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. Let it fly. The 1-0. Lifted in the air out to left field. Turn, turn, One run is scored. And that'll get over the wall, in fact. So two runs will score, but not the third.
digging in and looking for more. Michael Montag as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here now the 2-2. Towards second, Edwards ranges to his left. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their depth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eugene Edwards, runner in scoring position with Tugan. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. This one's down to third. To his left, Irving. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Rockhounds lead it five to three. Next will be the designated hitter, Vaughn Sherman. He singled his last time up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a boop and a flat. They could certainly use that right now. And there's one down now. Now batting, Miguel Tejada. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen. But they're going to this thing. Popped high in the air. Fox waits on it, but the second baseman calls him off and makes the catch. And the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We've played eight full. The Rockhounds are out in front, seven to three. Hey, I like the up there, huh? So striding forward now. Eugene Edwards, he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Ibarra aboard here at first with nobody out. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. I always say hitting's a process of elimination at the plate. I think he could go ahead and eliminate changeup. Two in a row, back to back. I don't think there'll be a third. Hey, no Ready with another 0-2. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And this one's tapped foul of home plate. Ibarra gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey, come on, big guy. Get your pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. You don't see that too often. You starting to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag if he'll throw it. Nice job by the offense. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's final, 7-3. Welcome into this... Coming to the plate now, Eugene Edwards. He also had three hits in the win last night. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that one just missed outside. 
Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, this series has been a little bit of back and forth, dropping the first one, finding a way to battle back, and then dropping the third one of this four-game set. Let's see if they can find a way to tie this rubber game. You know, Dero, this is one of those if you can... Now at the plate, Manuel yeah, Castro, as he'll get his first opportunity Manuel in this one. Castro. Bottom of the second here with no score. Whoa. Down for one and hits it on the ground to second. To his right. Throw in time at first for route number two. Into the box now, Harvey Queen is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting Harvey out last night's Queen. game. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Edwards over to his left, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no run. Now to the plate, Eugene Edwards. Second baseman, Eugene Edwards. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll get back in standing. Stay back. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed, so. Personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Stepping up to the plate, Vaughn Sherman comes into this yeah, at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Herman. Hit out towards second. Edwards right there, and he goes to second with it. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. All I can say about this one is that he must have taken a mental holiday there. Nice throw to second, I guess. Too bad there was no play there, though. 3-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. There's one on to first, and they turn the double play. Digging in to try it again. Manuel Castro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Manuel Castro. Attempt here. Fox has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs or... Riding in once again, Eugene Edwards. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Swing and a line drive. And this is going to be extra bases here, leading off the sixth. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay throw, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how manager's thinking. He's in the... Number 10, Patrick Digging in and looking for more, Eugene Edwards. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring Edwards. one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Corpus and Christi the Hooks wrote an A fast-developing young player has gotten the attention of the higher-ups in management. Prospects may not realize how closely they are being watched, and by other organizations as well as their own.
double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. Game's future stars are Coleman Riggs, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working, uses them properly, he has a chance to be. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. Digging in the switch hitter, Eugene Edwards. He was one for four with a triple in the ball game last night. Come on, let it fly right here. Let it fly. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Hit out towards second. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again. And Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. McCord on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mark Canna, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. The three one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Steve Lombardosi. He's coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Still even at two and two. Edwards on second. Kenna on at first with two down. Popped him up. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Eugene Edwards. Edwards. for one here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's Edwards. the first pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 1-0 home. On, he pops it up. And this will land foul. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his time off. A little roller toward the hole. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the bases loaded jam. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eugene Edwards. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Ready once again, Patrick Boyer. He singled his last time up. A dive, but he's back. He 
He's running. Strike called. Now the throw down. Well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. So now it's Mark Hanna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Mark Hanna. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And the runner back. Hits are now even at four apiece. And a big pass at a slider that gets past him. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. And a full count for Cannon now. Three balls and two strikes. Steve Lombardozzi will be next. And here's the 3-2 from him. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another full count pitch on its way. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Ready for another shot now. Steve Lombardozzi over two on his line thus far. Lifted the other way to left center. Varquette takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. And they'll nail him at the plate as he's tagged out. Uh, hitting an error. In Digging in once again. Hans Gutu already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk so far. Hit out. goes to first he is out great play that was left into the hole on that one and something to notice is how he had time to get back to his feet for the throw he knew he had to hurry but he didn't have to rush Settling in now, Eugene Edwards. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Hit in the air out to left field. Pena sprinting after it. Two down. Into the box now, Lewis Marquette. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there. On to first as they get the double play. To at the plate, Eugene Edwards. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. No balls in one strike. Ball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite hand and opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. The 2-2. Two -two. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity. They've been looking and here's Renato Nunez. A two-out hit and win it. Pass baller wild pitch would do the trick just as well. 
hit the other way out toward right field. Skaggs ranging into shallow right. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, no question, he was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run, so without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. For the Rough Riders, three runs on eight hits, two errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you... Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on the show. Now at the plate, Steve Pena. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 3-2 pitch. All the second, this could be two. Reined in. The second for one, the relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Well, he showed right there, White. Coming to the plate now, Luis Benitez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Now, attempt here. Fox is there. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. All right, here's how the home side's lining. Leading off the inning, Eugene Edwards. And they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed. So, personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Hit out towards second. Spano takes it in. Throw on to first in time, one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Eugene Edwards. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit hard back up the middle. Backhanded. There's one on to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Now with the plate, Douglas Fox comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-1 home. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. This catch is not known for his throwing ability. So you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Oh, and he may have gotten a bad jump there as he aborted the stolen base attempt and went back to second. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Hit come down on, the on, line on. at first. Sanchez scoops it up, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So digging in now, Eugene so Edwards. 24. Second baseman. Now here's the pitch. Eugene Edwards. Not Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues, I guarantee you, you see a different lineup tomorrow. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, McCord to gone. Stepping in, Ken Kenny. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Kenny. Straight up, straight up. Popped high in the air. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, striding in, Eugene Edwards. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. 
comes set with the 0 and 1. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. The 1 1 home. Bounce towards the second baseman. He's got a hurry and a mistake here as he's tagged out in no man's land. So striding forward now, now Douglas Fox. And he needs to make something Douglas. happen. They're down to their Fox. final out here in the ninth. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Edwards, the runner at first with two gone. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back. And again, a throw over, and he'll dive back in safely. And yet another hey. throw over. And he is in there. You know, I think he tried to be even quicker with his pickoff throw over the first that time than the move he showed earlier. And when you do that, sometimes your feet and arm aren't in sync, and it causes you to throw it away just like that one. Hit back up the middle. Barquette ranging up the middle on to first, and that's your ball game. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Frisco took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jody Kershaw not you. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight it's game three. Daniel Gossett gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. He's going to have to do a much better job. Keep the bases, keep the walks down. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Digging in, Eugene Edwards. Drove in his club's only run a night ago, and the runner will get back standing. First delivery to him on the way. Fly ball to straightaway left. Lowry is in pursuit. One down. And the throw in gets away from him. Stepping up now, Eugene Edwards. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Adam Lorang. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Leading off the inning, Matthew Skaggs, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Matthew Skaggs. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alfredo Guzman. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. The inning is it sent out to second, Edwards. To his right. And the throw is off target there, so he'll reach first base safely. Ready for another chance. Eugene Edwards. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on. Digging in to try it again. J.J. Lowry, he flew out in his last at-bat. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ready once again, Luis Benitez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 
And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Edwards. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. A ball and no strikes. Now the 1-0. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. The 1-1. Soft liner towards short, and this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. JJ Lowry into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Side. He'll get to this one. Spin throw, and he will get him at first on a fine spin and throw from short right. Digging in once again, Matthew Skaggs. He's headless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this would be the last chance to do that. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now at the plate, Fernando Sanchez. He's two for three thus far. Fernando. The three-two pitch. Ball swung on and grounded out towards second. Edwards fields it cleanly, and that's the second out. So striding in, Eugene Edwards. He's one for four for the game. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch to the right side, and through a base hit. Cortez rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe to play, and they now lead by two. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. And again a throw, and the throw's in fact dropped. Edwards leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's one and two. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Now a throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs. Now batting, third baseman. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Midland Rockhounds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Daniel Gossett gets the win on the mound. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the Double-A Texas League. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the... Digging in the switch hitter, Eugene Edwards. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Adding third. Let's watch that. 
Coming to the plate now, Eugene Edwards. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. So 1-1. One, one. Tried to crush that ball. And now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 1-2 is looked at for ball number two. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Hey, let the cat up there, huh? No one better. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on no hits. One error. So the lineup flips well, over and digging seven. in. Adam Lorang. He got called Adam out on strikes his Lorang. last time through. Whoa, whoa. On the ground out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So put another zero on the board. As they... hey, we got one out here. Striding in once We're again, field, Alfredo Guzman. He looked to bounce back Guzman. after striking out his last time up. One. He's hit not all that hard out to second. Hey, wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends. At the plate, no Eugene Edwards. He tripled earlier, making him one for Eugene two in the ball game. Edward. Faces are empty, one man out. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Pop straight up. Oh, and he misses it. A bare-handed pickup. Into the box now, Patrick Boyer. He's 0-2 with a strikeout in this one. Patrick Boyer. 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. And they will tag him out between first and second. And whatever that was, it backfired. Stepping up now, Eugene Edwards. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Outside for a ball, one and one. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. That makes it 6-5 to five now. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up the chute again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. Now that's a good piece of hitting. That's a great point, Dero. I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Now at the play, Hans Gutu. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Put in play to the right side of the infield, Edwards. And there are two away now. The 
tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. Midland capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win. Ronald Diaz claims the win out of the pen, his first. Ray Zeminski earns the save out of the bullpen, his 12th of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.